Hello everybody and welcome to the Indestructible Potatoes Potato Lounge number 34. How's everybody doing today? Alright, let's jump on into it. Zhang Z H A N G G I N Zhang Jin Zhang Jin. I'm not racist, I promise. I just can't pronounce these names. Joins the cast of Pacific Rim 2. Uh, he served as a stunt double in uh, Crouching Tiger. I don't know if it was the movie or the show. Probably both, maybe? Uh, and Hidden Dragon. Oh, I'm sorry. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Sorry. I didn't get the entire title out there. Uh, Ange Angelina Bassett joins Marvel's Black Panther cast as mother of T'Challa. Okay. Sure. Ubisoft wants to unite all VR devices with cross-platform play. The Oculus Rift, the HTC Vive, and the PlayStation VR. Uh, games like Eagle Flight, Star Trek, B uh, Star Trek Bridge Crew, and Werewolves Within. Uh, Rob Letterman, the guy who directed Goosebumps, uh, will direct Detective Pikachu. We've got in As directed, he also directed Shark Tale and Monsters vs. Aliens. Now we all know the hype of Pokemon Go has kind of diminished in the past few months since it was a hype in last year's in 2016 summer and it's kind of gone down uh, since then since people have started school getting back into you know a lot more work hours and whatnot during after well after the summer of course and it's kind of just slowly gone down in its popularity so I don't know how this movie might turn out it's being done by legendary pictures so you know you leave it, I leave it up to you to decide so uh, Light Bulb Crew, small developing team of former DICE members, is working on top down multiplayer team shooter for PS4 and PC. Uh, choose between 15 characters across 5 general character classes. It'll be a 3v3 or 5v5 called Games of Glory. It'll be free to play, it'll be cross play between PS4 and Steam. So. You know, it's good to see that people who are who leave certain companies decide to do, to do their own thing, which is fascinating and good at the same time because if you stay with a generic company, you're going to keep doing that generic thing until they decide to switch up that system. Ubisoft has kind of fallen into a rut where they can't fix their system except for uh, a game like For Honor. It's kind of switched up that system, but a thing like, you know, Ghost Recon, uh, Wildfire, whatever it was, Wildlife, kind of falls into that same rut as uh, Far Cry did with you're basically a, a single person or a group of people, depends, and you're trying to, you know, fix a government that's broken or whatever. It just seems seems kind of Far Cry-ish to me. Uh, Jurassic World 2 cast Justice Smith. Uh, it was opened in theaters June 22nd, 2018. Dauntless, a uh, new, new online RPG from independent developer Phoenix Labs from BioWare, Riot Games, Capcom, and Blizzard people, or Blizzard co uh, workers who work with those companies. Uh, it'll be free to play, be cooperation RPG, be PC release. Slayers, players, uh, tasked with protecting humanity by hunting down behemoths that threaten the land. Uh, inspiration from Dark Souls, Monster Hunters, and WoW, working. Sorry. Working together or go solo. Uh, it will feature crafting system, upgrade armor, and it will, be, it will feature a crafting system, and you'll be able to upgrade your armor and weapons to make yourself better, stronger, yada yada yada. As we all know, that's how it is. Uh, Crackdown 3 aiming for a holiday of 2017 or earlier release date. I am excited because that game will be ha will hopefully have 100% destructibility. Not heard a single thing about it since I think in the three back in 2015. Female-led 21 Jump Street lands writer and director Rodney Ruffman. Slenderman movie found director Sullivan White. Uh, he worked in Stomp the Yard and The Losers. I don't know how any of those turn out. Uh, I don't think they need to do a female-led 21 Jump Street. I think they should do something else by themselves completely and make their own thing. Kind of like, uh, what is it? Ocean's 8 is an all-females cast. I get that you're trying to make all-females movies now, but you saw how Ghostbusters did. It sucked. Slenderman, on the other hand, that might be a good horror movie. There might be a good twist to it. It might be a, a Blair Witch kind of feeling. Stated Decay 2 have a new, bigger town than the first one. Uh, it isn't a PvP game. Thank Christ, cross your fingers they stay true to that shit. Um, let's see what we got here. Enemy armor is 
is supposed to build to the story and gameplay to work together and survive. Uh, it will be on the Unreal Engine 4. I am extremely excited about that because Gears of War 4 was on the Unreal Engine 4. If nobody knows how beautiful that game is, it's so beautiful. The Unreal Engine 4 is unreal. This is not sponsored by the Unreal Engine 4, but it should be. But, you know, City Decay was a fantastic game. It was a fantastic game to play by yourself because it was something that you could just get into because you actually had to risk the lives of the people that you were playing as. If your character died, he was dead. You couldn't play as him ever again. You couldn't revive him ever again. And if you get exhausted, you'd have to switch people. That was fascinating. This one is going to be a non-PVP game forced to make you cooperate with every other asshole out there. That's awesome. This this is this is going to be amazing. I'm going to kick some little nerd's ass in it because he's going to be a little shit about something and walk off and drive a car and attract all the zombies and get himself killed and bitch about it in five minutes. That's going to be fun. Shit. <laughs> <clears throat> James Gunn, writer and director to Guardians of the Galaxy, wants to have a Rocket Raccoon, I'm sorry, a Rocket Raccoon and Groot spinoff. Uh, following the Avengers Affinity Wars, it's highly possible, they say. Um, especially with Vin Diesel said that he would like to also do something like this. I would be fascinated to see how it turns out. Will Ferrell is making a movie about esports with legendary pictures. I don't know how that's going to turn out. There are, there are a lot of movies with some weird plots right now. I'm coming out now. This seems like just they shouldn't do it. Have Will Ferrell like direct an esports event, <laughs> like an actual one. Like have him go to a, have him do a League of Legends event, or have him do a Smite event, or have him do a Heroes of the Storm event, have him do an Overwatch event. You know, I, I want to see him, you know, crack jokes to the people who are playing on stage or doing something. I don't want to see him make a movie about it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm not an esports person, but shit, I'll play it. If I got a fucking team, I'd do it, but I don't. Rocket, get Rocket League too. I have him actually play these games. Uh, Walton Goggins to star. Blah. Hold on. Yes, Walt, uh, Walter, Walton, Walter Goggins to star as the antagonist for the upcoming Tomb Raider movie. If anybody doesn't know, Walter Goggins uh, also started in the film. Uh, the Hateful Eight, he was one of the dudes that, uh, was dying with Samuel and Jackson on the bed. Spoiler alert. Uh, Dustin Bruder, game director of Heroes of the Storm, has left to join an unannounced Blizzard project. Now, as we all know, Blizzard kind of keeps all their upcoming projects under wraps, which is fascinating. But there's no news released about it until BlizzCon, which doesn't happen until after E3. Which I think is like even like two, three weeks after E3, which, you know, Blizzard does a lot of things already with Overwatch, uh, Diablo, StarCraft, and Warcraft, and Heroes of the Storm, and Hearthstone. If I'm thinking about anything else, I can right now. They're not going to do a Warcraft remaster, so fuck them. They should. I need my Warcraft 3 remastered, please. I'd love that. If you're listening, Blizzard, I want one right now. <clears throat> but I don't know. It's it, it's a good thing, but they just gotta you gotta you gotta uh, they're just they're throwing too many projects around. They need to kind of narrow down on what they're doing. Uh, Thomas James joined the Predator reboot. Uh, he played the Punisher in 2004, the movie, not the TV show or anything else. He was the dude who played the pun the actual Punisher in the movie. He's joining the Predator reboot. No news about from Arnold Schwarzenegger yet, sadly. Logan will be rated R. It will have, as the title will say, have a strong, br brutal violence, language throughout, and brief nudity. Ladies might see some Logan ass. Probably not, though, because they saw it once before in Days of Future's Past, and that's all you're getting. No more, no less. Um, Vicarious Visions is working on Destiny, uh, as are a bunch of other companies working on Destiny and Destiny 2. Uh, that will actually, I think, is aiming for a release of next year sometime, to my knowledge. Maybe even 2019, if nothing is released during this year's E3. Justice League has been pushed back to make way for a solo Batman movie. The Batman is the title of it. Corny as hell. I'm not okay with that. They need to change that. They just need not to do that. Uh, Justice League release date for, was June 14th, 2019. Uh... Third Cloverfield movie, the Cloverfield Universe, a release date of October 27, 2017. 
No news as to what the plot is, that's just it. Mark Wahlberg drops off the Uncharted movie. Uh, he took himself out of the running as to star as Nathan Drake. Uh, was rumored for the past five years that something was happening with him in, as playing as Nathan Drake. But he has completely got rid of the rumors and dropped dropped out. God bless. <clears throat> there is no release date for the Uncharted movie yet, as most as we said before in an earlier Potato Lounge before. The way that the Uncharted movies, that most people would say that the Uncharted movies are working now, is the fact that the cinematics for Uncharted worked in correlation with a movie. You could watch the cinematics back to back to back and get a full on story. You don't need to, you know. Make a movie, uh, make a live action movie about it, kind of like Tomb Raider and whatnot. You don't need to make a live action. Use what you have now and make it. Naughty Dog could do it. They really could. They did a beautiful job with the cinematics before. They could do it again. Uh, Patrick Wilson to star as the villain uh, Ocean Master in the Aquaman movie. Uh, he will play the human half brother of Ormi Curry. Uh, he also causes, as anybody who doesn't know, he causes natural disasters. Uh, ben Affleck has said that he will not be directing the Batman film. Uh, I'm actually very excited about that. I have really kind of stopped caring about Ben Affleck in general after hearing about the news of the failure that is Batman vs. Superman. Uh, Rihanna Pratchett drops out of the Tomb Raider reboot, Writer. Uh, she's off to pursue new adventures separate from the Tomb Raider franchise. Alien Covenant, Alien Covenant is getting a VR experience. Ridley Scott partnered with Fox uh, Innovations. Uh, it will be, have a paid title. No release date yet, but Alien Covenant is going for a release date of May 19th. Now, if anyone hasn't seen the Red Band trailer for Alien Covenant, watch it. It's amazing. L literally something pops out of a dude's spine. They have sex in a shower and one of them dies. How is that not awesome? ABC is looking to develop a Star Wars TV series. There's no news as to if it could be this network or another. But Lucasfilms not, might not be willing to develop a TV series. Now, if Lucasfilms is going to aim for, de for developing a TV series, they should look at companies like HBO to develop these TV series. They know how much money HBO gets. It's insane. They do a good job with the Game of Thrones series because it's all live action. There's hardly any actual cinema any graphics and any CGI or anything like that it's or you know I say hardly you know there is those dragons that are pets and whatnot they use you know green screens and whatnot but very little actually is used in terms of you know cinematics and graphics effects but they should aim at getting something like net uh not, like maybe even Netflix to develop it Netflix does a great job in the gen in general with TV series that they make right now <clears throat> Will Smith and Tonks for Tim Burton's Dumbo live action. Uh, this leading to, den uh, to the denial of Bad Boys 3 or Bad Boys for Life. Smith played the dad. Smith will play, or if he does, will play the dad of the f the dad that befriends Dumbo. Uh, Tom Hanks has been offered the film's villain. Deadpool 2 will see the return of Negasonic Teenage Warhead and Colossus. Also, as we've already stated before, Domino plus Cable, as to no news has been who has been given as to who do, uh, Cable will be. There's an X-Men TV series connected to the movies focused on Professor X's son coming out. Uh, former football player and wrestler uh, Leon Wood Hamilton sues over likeliness to Coltrane to the Gears of War series. Uh, and in the court of his suing, he says the nickname that he had in the game and in his real life. The acquaintance with the voice actor of Coltrane, apparently they wrestled together. And the physical appearance. Uh, he's suing for sales and profit over the length of all three games uh, he will be suing over for. Uh, Warner Brothers is looking to secure the film rights to Attack on Titan, a potential film adaptation that falls under the producer of David Hinman. Hen Hey man, H E Y M A N. Now we all know how the uh, Japanese adaptation went. It absolutely bombed, it failed, it sucked, it blew. Uh, it had little to do with the actual movie, or the actual animation, the actual anime or manga itself. In my, I didn't actually watch it, but to my knowledge, I heard that it just sucked in terms of graphic content, in terms of how it looked, and just looked like garbage. 
But I'm actually kind of happy that we see that Warner Brothers is looking to secure anime anime titles and manga titles to actually make better film adaptations because I actually kind of trust Warner Brothers to do a good job with what they're doing. The Division movie gets director Stephen Gaghan. Uh, as we know from before, Jake Gyllenhaal has, is already attached to this film, but no news as to what his role in it will be. Uh, Tim Miller in early talks to direct Terminator Reboot. Now, I don't know why they're deciding to reboot all these films. It's just a bad, bad idea. Don't reboot so many films. That just, it saturates the area that you're trying to do. Make new films. Make new plots. We saw how M. Night Shyamalan Split did. He wants to make a sequel of that too. No. Can it not be like Taken? Take the first movie you Taken. If we, I watched it too many times. I don't care anymore about it. The first movie you Taken was great. The other two sucked balls. Just do a single film. Done. No more, no less. It did great. Okay, I'm okay with that. Just let it be. You're killing it. You're just murdering it. You're kicking it on the ground while its ribs are broken and it can't breathe and it's bleeding. The Terminator first movie did fantastic. We saw how all the other films did after that. The second one was somewhat decent. The third one sucked dick. Any Terminator after that has also sucked balls. The Predator reboot, I don't know why. You're getting some good actors to be in it, but is it good? Why? You don't need to reboot. Dune's, Dune's being rebooted too. There's no need. Just let things be. In the classic 1970s, 1980s, 1990s look. It's 2017. You have all this technology, all this plot. You can make it yourself. Games are coming out that we've never heard of. Make a movie about that. Shit. Star Wars is already beating all of your asses. They've made something new. The fucking Star Wars Rogue One series did amazing. I loved it. But just, just, just think about something new. Don't just oversaturate the area with reboots to the point where I kind of want to kill anything around me and not be a film studies major anymore. It's just dumb. Go back and read this core in six approaches to writing about a film and come up with something entertaining for me. Make a story about a college student who can't pay his who can't pay his fines and drinks beer for a living. I don't know. Works out of Papa John's. I don't know. Do something new. Don't do reboots. It just it overdoes things. Focus on this area. And finally. David Ayer, director of The Suicide Squad, wishes he would have made Joker the main villain. And I will let you guys comment below as to how you believe he fucked that up and how we could have changed it. And we all know it sucked, but I'll let you guys comment that below. Thank you guys for letting me rant for about a minute and a half about the reboots and everything. I'm a film studies major, as we all know, and it's just kind of getting to the point where I'm reading all these, all these, all these newses, all these newses, all these news, and reboots are just overdoing it. I'm not going to be a director. I'm not. I'm probably not going to be a producer. I'm going to be someone who writes about these films, that studies these films for a living, that looks at these films from a certain point and gives you guys a review about them. I will not be actually making these films, but if you start overdoing it with reboots, you're just going to do something bad and you're going to fuck up the entire series and you're going to make people hate that film and go back to the original, kind of like how Ghostbusters was just something silly you guys gotta think about but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like please hit that like button and that subscribe button be very much appreciated also comment below as to what you guys think about this recording tell me what you think about the topics we talked about today and i will see you guys in the next potato lounge stay informed